Hi guys, it's Jess. I'm back with another tutorial for you. Um, I thought I would show you my work that I'm up to today. This is something that I'm working on, a drawing called Mo. This is Mo the Mole and he is a character that's going to be in a children's book. And I need to design him um, with the front, side and back uh, poses so that he can be designed into also a plush toy. So I thought I'd show you how I do this. Um, and it starts out with the sketch, this drawing. I just take this first one and lasso around it and then copy and paste it onto here. And uh, quickly just going to save this so I don't lose it. Right, so this first layer I've called drawing and it's on multiply. This is just the layer for Mo there, that sketch, as you can see, turn it on and off. That is him on that layer and then the layer underneath it's called color and that's where I will be adding color to it. Um, all of it is, it, the color layer is also on normal so that uh, it, you can have the color under drawing. Drawing is on multiply and has no opacity to it. Okay, um, I also have it all grouped into a folder and I've then added a layer mask and with that layer mask right there I go ahead and uh, add um, a pattern to it to make a texture for the paper. So you go to edit and fill and right here custom pattern you choose my favorite which is gauche light on watercolor and that just makes a nice watercolor paper um, press ok and you can't see it except that Mo the mole there he's lightened a bit um, click on that gray box again and we'll go to levels command L and we're just going to soften the texture a little bit as you can see when I pull the white arrow over, if you look at the drawing of Mo, you can see that he darkens and lightens. Well, that's the amount of texture to the paper. So I'm going to bring it down to about the middle of the graph, and that's a nice kind of texture right there. Okay, so now we're on the color layer, and I'm going to start coloring him. I'm just going to use a simple soft brush, and then maybe later add my watercolor brush. Starting with some pink on his nose, my little mole, he's going to have pink nose and pink hands and pink feet. And then I just start by blocking in colour. That was a bit dark, a little bit lighter. Always start with lighter colours and then progress to doing darker colours. At least with a watercolour. You can do something different if you're trying to emulate uh, acrylic or oil, but with watercolour you want to start with your lightest colours first and then move on to the darker colours. So here I'm starting with the light. The light I've decided is coming from the left hand side and I have the colour on multiply but I'm actually going to change it because I want to, I'm going to put it on normal because I want to do the whole mole with this one colour to start with and as I lifted the digital pen off the tablet, um, it would have made a multiply effect, which means it would have layered the color on top. If I keep it at normal, then I can do one solid color without having to worry about whether I lift the pen or not, it doesn't matter. So here I'm just coloring everything in, one solid color right now. Okay, and then go back to multiply. Now I can, no, I have used this, got the same color, haven't changed it, but as you can see, it adds a, another layer on top and makes it darker, more saturated, I should probably say. So now this is where I basically just start blocking in color, blocking in shadow and the form to try and get some dimension to the painting. Nose of the shadow. Here in the back of his head. As, as I said before, the light will be coming from the left. Go 
Okay, it's speeded up. These drawings typically take me hours to do, so I like to speed my videos up in parts, but still explain to you guys what I'm doing. Right there I added the watercolour brush and it has a, I really like the watercolour brush, it has a nice texture to it. Working in some shadows, starting to add a bit of hair texture. Yes, please check out Jess Bertram Illustration. That is my Facebook page. Um, several of you have found me on there, but I would love it if you checked it out. I post on there every day, and it's usually stuff that I'm working on at the present moment, or it might be something that I've done in the past. And I also take um, select commissions, so you might see what I'm working on in commissions right now. It's fun. Okay, let's speed this up again and get him colored in, lock in some color. I also have been blending a little bit as I go. As you can see, it's kind of a mottled color. Now I just use the smudge tool and blend it. Now I'm gonna start adding some grays for some shadow. Still got the watercolor brush. And actually I'm gonna start outlining. Outlining and then we will put in some more texture for fur. So that one's eyes. It's a bit dark, lighten that a little. Since I have the brush on multiply, I like to kind of keep it a little bit um, lighter so that as I'm adding each brush stroke, it will get darker anyway, so. Adding a nice outline there. Now I'm going to start adding some fur texture using the watercolor brush and that thin line and just doing lots and lots of little lines to make like a like fur, to make a pattern, to make a texture so he doesn't look quite so flat. <laughs> Speeding up again. Otherwise, this video would be about an hour and a half long. And there we go. As you can see, I'm adding lots of fur texture, lots of lines. It is tedious, but I like the effect it gives. And you can also shade with it. So as you can see, I'm adding darker colors now. And the more you do it on top as it's on multiply, the deeper it gets. The more dimension you have. Now he's starting to look like he's a real little mole furry guy. Actually real moles are pretty ugly so I decided to design this guy a little bit cuter since he is for a children's book and I didn't want to scare all the kids away. <laughs> okay speeding up one more time. Add some cheeks, a little bit of blush, more shadow and start to blend with the smudge tool a bit it's just so it's not quite so liney okay. and then I'm just going to clean up these pencil marks I went on the drawing layer and I'm just erasing any of the original pencil marks that I don't want anymore and that was just a real drawing that I scanned into my computer. It was not drawn in Photoshop. I prefer to start all my art with a real drawing and then color in Photoshop. So we're just cleaning up the edges here. Nice defined little nose. I don't get rid of the whole, I mean, I could just delete the whole pencil layer, but it loses some of uh, the special real art side. I think I like to keep my pencil layer and just clean up any little bits that don't need to be there. Okay, so that's that little guy done, and I'm going to work on the rest, and I will show you 
ta-da! These are the finished ones. So we've got the side, the front, and the back. And this took me a few hours to finish, but I didn't want to have to put you through all that. And now I've got a character design for a book and a plush toy. So I thought you might enjoy that I had done that. I have it all grouped, as you can see on the right there. Each one has a folder, side, front, and back to keep things nice and organized. And yeah, so this is just a day in my work. I hope you enjoyed it and the process. I hope you learned something new. Please check out Jess Birch and Illustration on Facebook. I'd love for you to follow me there. And uh, yeah, so just from this drawing to this finished piece of art, that's how I created this character, Mo the Mole. And as you can see, each one is in a separate group. Nice and easy to organize and to use. You could take out any one of these and use them for whatever purpose. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thanks so much for watching.